Hey there, Scorpio. Here is your November 2020 reading. Get straight onto it. Bear with me if I start coughing and things like that. I've had laryngitis, so I'm trying to get these readings out. Um, they should have been done, but I just couldn't talk, basically. Um, so this will be your past or challenge area, your current situation for November, and maybe an outcome or messages of what to do next, um, some sort of... Um, direction and then we've got also I'm going to read them this way past present future just to give you a bulky type reading hopefully you've been watching your Scorpio mini readings every week um, I'll keep bringing them out I might actually change them soon to um, fortnightly readings it's just getting a little bit too much unless people if you put comments in there and you say that yeah please keep doing the the weekly I look forward to the weeklies um at this stage, I'll keep doing them. So in your past or challenge area, we have where you're at a crossroads where you're, there's possibly a third party situation because we do have the romantic couple up on their head. And then we got a three, which can be a sexual card to me. Um, so this could be a challenge. It could be a relative as well that's interfering in a relationship. Um, but it was where you were trying to make a decision and trying to make a choice, whether within work, finance, love, romance, um, you want to go on a journey, you're not sure which way to go with it um, or you're waiting for somebody else to make up their mind. I feel like you've reached a peak and been overloaded with too much stress. You've got the Ten of Wands sitting here. It is upside down. It can be that where you feel like you're being used by someone um, and I'm not meaning used for sex or anything like that. I'm thinking more along the lines that used for your money, used for, um, oh, hey, can you please come over and fix this for me? Or can you please come over and look after the kids? And it's just sort of like um, someone's just embellishing themselves a little bit too much with your time. Um, and I think you're over that. Uh, up here, this is normally the committed married couple. It doesn't have to be married, but someone, they're committed to each other. They love each other. They're taking you on a love journey. It looks like it's on de delay or it feels like you're putting the effort in. You love this person. You want to go on this journey, but you don't feel that they're bringing it back your way. Now, if you are involved in a third party situation and you are the third party, um, you may be waiting for the married man or the married woman. They say that, you know, their marriage is over and you're waiting for them to be with you. So that's part of what I'm picking up, um, Scorpio. Also, I'm feeling like there might be someone at a distance where you're, you're wanting to connect, but the love is there and everything, and everything's upside down at the moment. And it's very stressful. So let's just get some of these for Scorpio for November 2020. November 2020 okay what do we got yeah we got wishes coming true we got commitment love happy home so in the past you've had some big romantic interlude now it's is the two and four sitting together is usually the perfect harmonious people especially with the nine of hearts sitting there um, but because the cards underneath are negative at this point and this is overseas or interstate. So as I said, I was picking up that there's something at a distance or someone. Um, the love is there. The passion's there. The happy home will be restored. You're just wanting it now. I just think things are delayed for my Scorpio friends. Yet yeah, here we have the union between two people upside down again. Upside down sun, the biggest happiness card in the deck upside down memories of the past everything's upside down for my Scorpio people we need to turn you up and around now I shuffled those cards and I turned them up and I turned them down and I flipped them and I divided them and so far six out of six they're all upside down so you have beautiful energy for November I just feel that all of this stuff you're wanting the happiness the stability new responsibilities the family the gatherings it's just not happening when you want it. It's there. The love's there. It's just not happening yet. New responsibilities. Uh, someone not talking or someone angry and walking away from something. It, it's almost like an argument might happen. I feel you might get frustrated with waiting. 
Um, we have double sixes on the table. So I do feel there's someone, a spirit energy around you. It could be a mother, a father, a child. Uh, there's a spirit energy around you at this point. Um, there's reminiscing going on. You've actually got triple six on the table. And no, I don't uh, think that that's the sign of the devil or evil or anything like that. I just think it's uh, responsibility, responsibility, responsibility. I feel like you're looking after someone. You do have a baby girl on the table. You have the nine months of pregnancy, a baby girl, something to do with a baby boy that's either not with you um, or you've already got a child that's a boy and now you're having a girl. Um, this is all wishes coming true over here. But unfortunately, you're sitting in the past. But when we read them this way, it changes everything. So let's just get on to here for a future or, you know, some sort of help. They're all upside down again. You've got the soulmate. You've got the journey. You've got the ideas. You've got building the bridges. You've got making amends. But everything's on the table. You have every beautiful card on the table. Unfortunately, they're upside down. And all that tells me is it's delay, delay, delay. There's something you're not talking about. There's something that is your happiness, and for some reason you're silent. Um, you need to speak up, Scorpio. You need to voice your opinion. You have the soulmate. You have the journey. You have some, for some of you, there's a job offer here, new responsibilities letting go of the old. Let's see what else we got. We got shocking news of a nice, ah, like I just said, new job. For some of you, this is all about a new job. You were passionate about what you're doing, but you feel like things have got a bit stale and you need something new. You may be going back to school, learning new lessons and getting new certificates, and then there's definite job offers on the table. Um, also, there's travel on the table. You might be waiting for someone to come to you, or you might be getting on a plane and going to them. Um, but there's definitely soulmate connection and beauty and love and everything here on the table. So with the spirit energies, I'm feeling like parenting and children. Um, so it's either your parents or it's children that are coming through from spirit. We've got March, we've got three, we've got six, then we've got June, we've got six again, we've got 12 and we've got 18, then we've got five, 10 and May. So all of those dates and numbers might mean something to you and someone that you may have lost. Oh, beautiful. Your last card for November is finally moving forward, passionate journey, love and abundance. Um, this is making the right choices for your health, for your mental health, your physical health, your spiritual health and well-being. This can be moving in a new direction, a new job, new group of people, new friendships, beautiful, beautiful reading. You just got to have some patience and wait um, and be kind to yourself. So reading them past, present, future, reading them this way, something happened financial as well as new responsibilities and that you got some sort of news and it was shocking news where you went, oh, and it was nice news. And that may have been a pregnancy announcement it may have been the birth of a child. It may have been wishes coming true concerning a loved one or a parent or even a job. But something come true in the past and you were very, very happy at that point. Also here, this is where you wanted to take a journey. You're very committed and you want to start new and fresh and you want to move forward. Now, this may have been going on for about three months, hopefully not three years, Um you were happy, but you, you're trying to get this back. You're trying to get this stability and happiness back. Now, in the bulk of the month, this is all about change. This is starting afresh, learning lessons from the past, having that conversation that you need to have, voicing your opinion, being heard. You do have lies and truth, so just be wary of someone that might not be truthful with you. Um, and sometimes someone goes silent because what they have to say might be hurtful. But I do feel you come out shining here. Also, this is something to do with a job, a new opportunity and travel. Again, all of these cards, as you know, they're all upside down. So we have commitment, the biggest happiness and abundance and soulmate. This is usually a marriage. This is someone cementing a deal, cementing a marriage. This is all about love, relationships, family, um, deep desires it's all there for you, Scorpio. It's just delayed. Delay, delay, delay. 
Now, your final outcome or messages of strength and what you need to do, you know what you need to do. This is where you've got to either get on, get in the car, get in the plane, do something new. You need to have a conversation. You need to pull somebody up who's being irresponsible. If someone's not putting their all in, you need to sit down and have a conversation and say, this is how I feel when you, you know, or I understand when you're doing blah, blah, blah. But when you do that, this is how I feel whenever you do that. But you're making choices for yourself and moving forward. You may be clinging to something from the past, though. And then your final cards are the stress overload has reached its peak. You've had enough of whatever that is. Um, you're reminiscing over the past, but you're not spending too much time there because the past is the past. No matter how beautiful or how bad it was, the past is the past. You can't change it. Um, and this is where you've got an offer of an opportunity to do something different. It can be a medical opportunity as well. I think you're in decision mode whether what works for you and you want more information. You need more conversation. And your Oracle Scorpio, just to finish off your reading, is a union. For those of you wanting a beautiful love romantic union, it's coming. So you might be making the plans ready during November. I don't see the union happening in November simply because everything was upside down. But anyway, beautiful reading, just upside down at the moment for Scorpio people.